Blue Ranger Power! Yeah. Greetings everyone, all my fellow cosplayers and gamers, we got Blue Ranger Power here. With another episode of what I've been up to. Sorry there hasn't been one in a while, it's just been working two jobs, haven't really had time to film. But that's alright, I'm here now. And pretty much, I've gotten some new stuff lately. But instead of just sitting down, I thought it best if I just show you where I've displayed it and show you what I have. Alright everyone, let's check it out. I was able to pick up this little mini Goku figure for only six bucks on Amazon. I had to pick that up, it's pretty cool. And the other day I was at Rogue Toys, picked up this giant Goku figure. Oh, that little, and oh yeah, this. And it's a pretty cool figure though, and it cost me 20 bucks, but look how big it is. It is really cool though. And by the way, and we got Ada eating her food. <laughs> Alright, getting off topic. And today I picked up some Baja Blast. I think I'm gonna have one right now. Love some me some Baja Blast. Alright, well we're getting off off subject. Well, here's what else I've got. I've gotten a lot of Blu-rays and movies recently, so I'll show you what I got. I got this Halloween 35th anniversary edition. Bought it for like six bucks. That'd be cool to have. Got the new Halloween on eBay. I got these Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom box sets, all steel the steel books. That only cost me like twenty bucks. That'd be cool to have. Ghostbusters one and two, and Venom. Paid like five bucks for that on uh, at at the pawn shop. So I was like, hey, why the hell not? And I picked up this all Iron Man, Iron Man 3 movie. We've got all the Iron Mans in it. Some more of my most famous movies I've recently gotten. And I picked up Deadpool Still Book. Got X Men Days of Future Past, X Men Apocalypse Still Book. But hey, I, I, I know they're not as. Some, some of these X Men movies are hits, hit and miss. But the, I thought I might as well complete the collection. Besides, I got them all very inexpensive. This set, as all four, four of these movies, but the other one, uh, it's in the other room. It's Suicide Squad, Batman or Superman, Man of Steel, and Wonder Woman. Don't worry, God. Batman or Superman, that was not the best movie of all time. It was not a great movie. But the thing is, the box set, I only paid six bucks for it, so I asked six bucks, you can't beat that. I got all the Batman Dark Knight movies, got, them all, got all the Steel books. Paid like 20 bucks for all three, bought them from a friend. Got the Punisher, only five bucks. Managed to pick these up, some Kevin Smith stuff, and pretty much I paid about like for both of these about twelve bucks. So I'm like, not bad. Then I got this Batman animated series, complete series on Blu-ray, for about sixty bucks. Got the Batman Adam West, paid another sixty bucks for that, and some more steel books I recently came gotten. I've gotten Space Jam, Jumanji, Jungle Jungle, and then the classic one on one set, and one of my favorite movies of all time, The Big Lebowski. Got the Power Rangers Steelbook, Taken 3 movie collection. I also picked up this Men in Black trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much up. We got E.T. That's a decent movie. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I only got it for like four bucks from, from I think it was eBay, I believe. And pretty much some other miscellaneous stuff. Alien vs. Predator, the first one. I bought this for like two bucks at the swap meet a long time ago. I've been meaning to say something. Got the Godfather trilogy. Got some mis miscellaneous movies. Well, mainly ones I've gotten received with is Disney ones. They were like five bucks a pop at Best Buy. Two of them, actually, two of them I bought at Best Buy. The other two I bought at Buybacks. And some other miscellaneous stuff I've recently gotten. I was going to pick this up. This Mortal Kombat Annihilation. All, all this, all the Mortal Kombat movies, triple feature, I bought it at Best Buy for like 10 bucks. I'm like, hey, what the hell not? Then I tri I was able to get this complete series of Mighty Morphin from Power Rangers. Sure, I had the other DVDs, but this one has all of them plus the Alien Rangers. It's pretty cool to have. So, that's pretty cool. And of course, you know, everyone knows I have this, one of the best movies of all time. I'm pretty sure it's been out that it's come to Blu-ray. I'm going to have to pick that up when the time comes. And recently, I've, I came, I've gotten... Pretty much, this whole stuff is dedicated to Dragon Ball. It's pretty much every Dragon Ball thing that's ever been, been the whole series of Dragon Ball. Like I got the original Dragon Ball, all the whole series of this, 
uh, Japanese only movie. Got the four movie pack. And these were like two Blu ray CDs that I originally came out with, and then they decided not to do it anymore but for some odd reason. I don't know why, even though they were really good. But I just got them as collector items, and then I got the whole series all on Blu ray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, see, season three. Bam, bam, it's pretty cool stuff. Then I got the, I have these two movies. Whoops. Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods. And Resurrection of F. Two really good movies. Then these are all steelbooks of the classic movies like Dead Zone, World's Strongest, Tree of Might, Lord Slug, Revenge of the Cooler, Super Android 13, Boat, then this Bud Lake, then all the Broly movies. Food Diffusion Reborn and, and Wrath of the Dragon. And then the TV specials that were the Trunks, the History of Trunks, and then Bardock, the Father of Goku. I know this was not exactly the best Dragon Ball show, the weakest one of them all so far, but it's still, I just wanted to get it for the collection. And then I got all these, I got all these Dragon Ball Supers. Oh, whoops. As I drop them all, level with me. The first box set, the second, the third. I drop stuff again. <laughs> the fourth. Then you got the fifth set and then the sixth set. Yeah, pretty much Dragon Ball Super is actually really good in my opinion. Yeah, and then pretty much it's actually really good, pretty much. Yeah, it's really good how they brought the series back, how there's new forms now. I'm eager to see how that goes. And then that's, oh, one more thing out of the blues I forgot to mention. I'm pretty sure if you've the words, but now about Walmart having those Deadpool covers. I got two of them of myself. Got Edward Scissorhands, Deadpool cover. Oops, and Revenge of the Nerds. All classics. Yeah, but that's pretty cool though. And then, and she, yeah, but it's been pretty. Then we got a puppy dog right here, Casper. And I'm currently playing Resident Evil 2. Forgive the mat, the, it's not, I know it's like, like clean in here, just been working too, just haven't had time to clean. And they're pretty cool, and then, there's Claire Lennon on the shirt. Oh yeah, but hey, I got a lot of cool stuff, a lot more stuff coming soon, but. Alright everyone, that pretty much wraps up for this episode of what I've been up to. Say hi Claire. Hmm, Alright. Yeah, she's being weird, but she's laying on my new shirt I recently got. Excuse me. And the Piccolo's collect also. This shirt I had, this is inspiration by my best friend, fellow YouTuber, John K. the Gamer. He showed this to me, and I was like, okay, I have to have that. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this little video. Drop a like video if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button. Claire, say hi. Claire. Blue Ranger out.